Hi there everyone. Today I'm going to use a set of stamps from My Graphico and they're called the Springtime Bird Stamp Set. And I'm going to do something a little bit different with the cutting out my topper design. And I'm just going to cut up to the design on both sides here. You can see me doing that. And then lifting the cutter and I'm doing it again on the other side. So I've just got that little bit of design still sticking out where I haven't cut along. And I'm just going to hand trim around that using my scissors. So you've got the nice straight line of the topper um, with a design kind of poking out the side as well. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on all three sides of this design. So the head of the bird will stick out of the top and the, the leaves of the tree will stick out the side and the bottom. And I just think that gives a little bit more added interest to this, to this design um, and I quite like it. So you can see here that I've cut out those three sides and I just corner chomped the uh, top right hand corner there as well. Here I'm just measuring up how long I'll need that scallop border edge and I'm using my um, stamp Stampin' Up scallop punch. You, you can also use the one by Fiskars, I just happen to have bought this one, I have no preference on either. And here I'm using a new, um, I think it's my Tombow glue roller. Um, I'm trying it out because I was getting through glue rollers like nobody's business and these ones are slightly longer and therefore work out a bit more cost effective so I was going to give them a go and um, and just see how I get on with them. And I'm just sticking that scallop board um, down and I'm just going to trim off those little bits that are sticking out on the edge there. And just trim around those leaves again. Now here I'm just going to show you how I coloured in my design. It's at super fast six times speed and I'm going to leave you with a little bit of music while I do. up my design now and you can see it's complete here. Now I'm moving on to you know finishing up the card and I'm using these doodlebug uh, letters and they're basically stickers um, and I bought them in white so I could do just this and I've coloured them in in green to match and tone in with the card. And I've used alcohol ink so they won't smudge you know once they're dry they'll stay that colour. And it just gives a little bit more kind of interest to otherwise just they're just white stickers. 
So I'm just laying them on my design just till I'm happy with the layout and it's a good job because I change my mind later. Here I'm just cutting out the tail of the bird, just the last part of the tail. And this is because I want the tail to be slightly lifted. So um, I'm just trimming out trimming it out along the edge of its of the edge of the pattern of the digital stamp and just lifting it slightly. Here I just got some polka dot ribbon and I folded it over um, where I want the where I want it to start and I'm just uh, going to staple along here. This is a technique I saw Christina Werner do um, quite a while back now um, and I, I quite like it so you know I keep coming back to it. It's just something different to do instead of tying a knot or a bow. So I'm just uh, stapling then making a fold in the ribbon and then stapling again and I just keep, in, keep on doing this and kind of folding it a little bit higgledy piggledy and where I've made a mistake or the staple hasn't gone in right I've just pulled it right out and then just re-stapled it um, and then to finish it off I'm just going to staple one last uh, staple at the bottom turn over and trim my ribbon to size now this is this is the bit I changed my mind on I decided to add a little bit of pink cardstock onto the top of the card and I've just used some um, glue roller just to adhere that down I'm going to use the three dimensional stickers to adhere that top right coloured in earlier down and I'm just going to offset that slightly from the edge of the card as you can see here then I can go ahead and add my letter, letters again um, and this time I can actually press them down when I know I'm happy. So here I'm just writing in in pencil um, my sentiment at the bottom. It says uh, has sprung as in spring has sprung. And then I'm going to go over it with this um, pink pen. Um, I always like to write my sentiments in pencil first just so I'm sure with, you know, happy with the way they look before I go ahead and commit myself with ink. Here I'm just doodling with some white gel pen on those the letters at the top. And I also decided I didn't really like the um, the three corner curves being exactly the same, so I went ahead and draw a more of a of a smooth curve on that top right hand corner of the card, just to do something a little different. Anyway, that's today's card. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.